when the light is bright, it's uh, it's working, right? It's being recorded right now. It's working. Okay. again. <laughs> now first, uh, for those of you who would like to follow Vladimir's steps, I'd like to show that at our BAM.info website there is an article, Quick Start, uh, full, full BAM Stack. And uh, it describes, uh, uh, it shows how to build this uh, web page. And uh, it's uh, very similar to what uh, Vladimir has done. It also shows uh, how to uh, create blocks, uh, CSS for them, BAM HTML, uh, templates, f and uh, JavaScript, and how to redefine JavaScript from the library. So uh, you can just... Uh okay. I guess nobody could follow Vladimir's steps and code right now, but with this article uh, you can see uh, what code you need to type, wha wha what's the result you, you need to get, and you can, you can uh, check it at home. Uh, um, well, I'm here to answer your questions, but uh, as uh, as you know, Vladimir answers, answers already many questions, and uh, I'd like to start with uh, examples how to divide interface into blocks. We won't code, but uh, actually it's the most uh, one of the most difficulties in BAM because uh, you need to make uh, your uh, web application uh, architecture very well um, in order to have uh, good independent blocks. And uh, this is uh, what many people ask, how, how do I decide what are the blocks on, on my page? And I'll start from uh, Yandex and uh, then you can, uh, you can suggest me uh, your page and I'll show what are the blocks. Um, so here is the page and let's imagine that uh, this is a PSD image, it's not implemented yet uh, and uh, we are to start coded. And uh, actually if, uh, if it's uh, the, a single page we need to decide what's repeated uh, at the page and the things that are repeated and also things that may possibly be repeated in the future, they are blocks. So uh, here you can see that uh, there is a, at least one menu block and uh, also another menu block. And uh, again you see that uh, already here um, inside the menu item uh, there can be a drop down. So uh, we know that uh, menu need to include other blocks. Uh, and thi this one uh, also can be a menu, modified menu. Uh, and, but actually this, uh, this is very easy. Uh, yeah. uh, there is an invisible layout block uh, to, to place block at the uh, particular places. And we can predict that maybe in the future we, we will need to, to have uh, one more input and one more button. What for? For questions? 
conditional comments here. So we provide uh, different uh, IE, uh, different files for different IE versions. And uh, in web terms, each, uh, each CSS file, for example this one, is a um, building technology. 
And uh, you could see in the main.js file in the Vladimir's example that there are a list of technologies to build and CSS, IE CSS, and uh, IE7 CSS among them. And uh, in BAM tools, each of those technologies uh, is provided by a special con configuring file, uh, tuning, tuning file. And uh, there are also the possible inheritance. So that um, actually, let me let me find an example for you. This is uh, how uh, uh, file for IE9 uh, looks like. It includes uh, all the uh, CSS needed for the page, plus something that's needed for IE, and conditional comments are written a special way that uh, makes IE to download only one file, particularly for this for this browser. So how we will uh, handle the inheritance in uh, for a search box? And search box, we have a width of, uh, suppose we have a width of 500 pixels, and it's working, it's working fine in Chrome. And in IE 7, we, I want uh, 475 pixels. So how, where I will define that uh, IE specific? Uh, you can add, um, uh, there is a, there is a folder with the block. Ah, actually I can even show you. As you can see, it, uh, the There is a file for CSS and some IE CSS tuning. But uh, and some half here. Yeah.
I think we can finish. Could you please repeat? Could you please repeat uh, who, who else is using web I mean, methodology? Ah, than Yandex? Yeah. Uh, the main user is, of course, Yandex. And also, there is a range of Russian companies using uh, uh, the other uh, our competitor, Rambler. There is also internet. Yeah, they also provide a bunch of services, and uh, also, yeah, uh, they are also a search engine and have some services for news, maps, and very similar to to Yandex, but just smaller. One. Also, we have uh, a leader of uh, webmail in Russia, uh, not Yandex, but they still use them. Uh, not full step but some pieces, and also they have uh, some uh, own their own tools, uh, which they, uh, they are not sharing, uh, but still they have something, something else for building. And uh, uh, also there is um, for foreign, there are foreign mm -hmm. users. Uh, there is one guy from UK, he implements CSS framework with them. Okay. He uses only CSS part of them, uh, but still. And uh, he uh, sometimes writes articles uh, explaining uh, how it, his framework works and refers to them. Then um, uh, Vladimir actually uh, bought works for Yandex partly and he also owns a web studio and uh, they use them for uh, their clients from California, yes? Yeah. yeah. What's more? Who uses them? Headhunter. Who? Headhunter. Ah, yeah, Headhunter. It's Russian LinkedIn. Uh, Russian job searching website also uses this. Uh, this one. 
and the actually minimal. You can uh, find the page. And uh, mm, some people from uh, the conference who participated in the conference, they already tried the uh, optimizer. And uh, um, one guy sent me uh, digitals, <laughs> how good it is in compa if compared with other optimizers. So just try. The besides, there are also other optimizers, SVG or optimizers SVG. Too. Uh, they both are to be run and NeoGS. Um, so you need uh, NeoGS to be installed on your computer to, to run these tools. Um, other tools can be found as a special page, bam.info slash tools. Uh, besides, there is version. Also, uh, Vladimir showed you how it, it played in CSS and JS when using in BAM stack, but still it can be used uh, separately. Well, uh, CFHRAM is a uh, Russian word for C. And it separates uh, different CSS styles. For example, uh, Jitendra asked me for uh, these uh, hacks. Yeah. Uh, we don't need them anymore. And I can use Zetichka and say that I don't uh, use IE6 anymore. Please remove everything that was written for IE6. And Setechka uh, will uh, divide other CSS from CSS from for IE6, and then I can do whatever I want to remove or place it into a separate file. So, uh, all the uh, tools for CSS based on a CSS parser, it's also here, it's Gonzalez. Uh, so if you need your own tool for CSS, and uh, you, you don't need to write regex. Uh, you, you can just uh, take parser and do what you want. And um, it, uh, these uh, omega.js and ig.js there are for, for real geeks. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I even don't, uh, I'm not sure that uh, I, I can explain, but uh, uh, ch 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 please check it on your own, <laughs> because it's pretty hard to describe even in Russian and in English. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can't. <laughs> uh, also, um, no. Actually, uh, BAM would be much popular if we uh, provided uh, libraries, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have a lot of time to uh, implement them. And here, uh, here there are some libraries, but actually, they are just examples of how to build your own library, because uh, not very many blocks here. And uh, you can see, uh, but still, this example is very good. You can see, uh, for example, menu component. Since uh, any block can be placed into any page, we can uh, automatically build uh, this library site. And these examples are actually iframes. And so you can see, uh, you can find, you can see this is iframe, and this block is is alive. It's built uh, from uh, from the source code. This is. Uh, the serve code to the menu, and when we are looking at the library website, it turns into HTML, and you can see it right now. And uh, it functions like a page. So 
So as uh, I've said at Metarefresh, uh, yeah, this library code, this uh, library site is built with uh, some ugly GNOMIC files. Uh, but as I've said at Metarefresh, we are now uh, for, um, developing a special tool uh, for automatically building any library. So uh, to provide people opportunity to build their own libraries. And uh, uh, with them, it's possible to use as many libraries as you want. So, so you can borrow one library from your team, one library from your friends, and, and so on. Uh, at uh, Webmail, Yandex service, they use Stylus, and uh, as for other services, I didn't know. And we at uh, um, framework team, we don't use, but just because uh, we we need to produce uh, code uh, understandable for all the developers. So if uh, someone don't like SAS or don't like Stylus, uh, Stylus we, we need to please them both. And this is why we use plain CSS. Yeah. But uh, again, it's possible. And uh, uh, BAM tools already knows uh, how to work with SAS and less. Uh, I don't know about Stylus. Okay. Yes. Okay, we can we can check. Maybe you could spoil some sort of them CSS. Uh, yeah, actually, um, uh, we have very geeky CSS guys at Yandex, and they uh, dug out that uh, uh, all the preprocessors have some bugs. And this is why they decided maybe in the future uh, to build uh, their own, uh, to, 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 to make their own preprocessor. And since we, um, we are creating our own preprocessor, we can use BAM terms uh, so that we can, um, do, we can not use these long classes, but just define block this, modify this. Do, do this. I just checked, yes, we heard Stylus uh, technology and it was added to the month ago. Uh -huh. so we'll okay. Uh. Actually, uh, I guess we are out of time. It's 6 p.m. already. So well, but still, if you if you have your questions in the future, you can ah, uh, I'll show you. Ah, uh, this is a link to our Facebook group and to Twitter, so you can always ask us. Uh, and what's more, I uh, didn't say it from the stage, but now I can. Uh, Bam team helps other teams. Uh, to solve their architectural problems if they like to use them. Uh, and since we are living in 21st century and Skype is available, so <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're very welcome to make an appointment and uh, we can call each other and discuss your stuff. Thank you, yeah, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>